So you've done it. You've gathered a group of players and you are sitting down and you have the guaranteed date of the first session of this glorious campaign you plan on running. Here's the thing. This first session is extremely critical, but don't overthink it. Let's go over some ways on how we can make that first session truly shine. When it comes to running that very first session, we need to start off small, then you work your way up. Do not overbear your players with a lore dump. Do not introduce a incredibly, incredibly super diverse, crazy, wacky, weird world. Make the introduction small and then work your way out. We don't want to scare our players away. We don't want to give them too much info that they forget everything. We want to make it so that they remember everything because this is the first session and we want to make it truly special. Make it so that whatever you have prepped for that very first session, it is well within the means of everyone at the table to remember what's going on, but it's juicy enough to keep your players hooked. Now something very, very important about this running your very first session is you need to get the game expectations on the table early. If you just say, hey world, I'm running a game, and just people show up and you start running the game, then guess what? You're going to have a lot of people showing up with different expectations. You're going to have people showing up thinking it's going to be one campaign, or maybe some people are going to be thinking that some certain things are allowed and some things aren't. People are going to be showing up with their own expectations. You need to address these things right off the bat, so that way no one is left wondering what's going on, everyone is on the same page, and we all come to a consensus on how the game is going to be run. If you say, hey, you know, I'm just running a campaign, that's that, then you're going to have some people show up with the combat-loaded, die-hard, crazy, weird, wacky character, and then you're going to have someone else show up that is a super-duper roleplay character that doesn't do anything with combat. Then you definitely have these conflicting ideas about what the adventure is going to be, and quite frankly, just conflicting character ideas for a singular campaign don't typically work well. Now, I've talked about prepping that very first session. Guess what? only prep that very first session don't have the whole campaign prepped just focus on that first session do not worry about what's going to happen 10 20 sessions later down the line because you need to keep your focus on the here and now think about the very next session that you're going to be running think about the session that you're running currently right as of that very second do not worry about the future to come because, quite frankly, if you plan on something happening way, way later down the line, then you may be a bit too biased and try to push your players into this one singular idea. Instead of doing that, just let the campaign run freely. Yeah, you can try and push your players in a certain direction, but I find that the harder you push, the harder some people try and resist. Now, pertaining to this individual session, the very first session of this campaign, kick things off the bang and end things with a cliffhanger. Make it so that during this very first session, something grandiose, strange, weird, awesome happens, but at the same time, the session also ends in a cliffhanger, guaranteeing that they want to come back for more. So, you need to come up with something in this very first session that gets the players hooked. You need to reel them in. You need to make this very first introductory of this adventure something entirely different that they've never seen before, that they've never done before, and you need to make it so that they are absolutely hooked and are going to be coming back for the very next session. I find the best way to end things with a cliffhanger in the very first session is as someone declares an action that's going to happen or as you say, oh, the monster does this or the NPC does that, that is when you say, well, we'll resolve that next time. And you're going to have that gruntled, oh, oh man, can we go a little bit further or, oh man, I can't wait for next session. Those are the things that we live for. We want people pumped for showing up to that very next session. And speaking of that very next session, foreshadow what's to come. Once again, don't prep too far heavily into the future, but maybe say something obscure. Maybe say something that'll have your players intrigued. Have a mention of a name or an item or some sort of object, whatever it is. Have these names sprinkled throughout, foreshadowing what's to come. Maybe have some glimpse of some future friend or some future hated enemy. 
Foreshadowing what's to come is a great way to indicate where your players want to go. If you give them several instances of foreshadowed information, then they may decide to act upon it, maybe they just decide to talk about it a lot, in whichever case they do, whether they choose to ignore it or choose to dive headlong into that information, it lets you prepare better because you figure out what their wants are, you figure out what their needs are. If you foreshadow something and they don't care about it at all whatsoever, then who cares? But if you do foreshadow something and they are hooked on it, then you get to expand it out. Then you get to see where that is going to happen later down the line. But once again, make sure that you're always prepared for the session that you're running right then and then prepare for the next session. The very first session is the make it or break it of your entire campaign. An overwhelming majority of campaigns end in a very few sessions. A lot of them end after the very first session. And I promise you that's because people aren't willing to talk. I promise you that the majority of campaigns end early because the expectations are not out there on the table. Because people refuse to speak up about what they want out of the game. Get your players to talk about what they want from this game. Get your players to talk to each other. Get your players interested in the world that is there. Get your players interested in the adventure itself. Because if you present an adventure that they don't have any interest in involving themselves in, then guess what? They're not going to involve themselves in it, right? If you have expectations not laid out on the table, then people are going to show up. And once people figure out what this adventure is, you may get some people that say, oh, this isn't the adventure that I want to play in. And also very importantly is the very beginning needs to have some sort of bang because if literally nothing happens at all whatsoever in the very first session, there is nothing special about this very first session, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing new, then people are probably going to see that as a predictor of the future to come and see that there might not be anything interesting or new involved in this campaign. Make it so that your players have a totally and wholly awesome experience in the very first session and end it with that cliffhanger so they just keep on getting more of that good stuff. So go ahead and tell me, do you have awesome experiences with the very first session of a campaign or are you one of many people that have had a first session that left them not wanting any more and they left the table? Do you find that you over prep for your campaigns or are you okay with just prepping for the next session to come? And what sort of cliffhangers do you like to introduce in your games? I would love to hear it. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.